Пабо, знаеш ли какво е знание? Не. Да знаеш, че домата е плод. Хм, да бе да. А знаеш ли какво е мъдрост? Какво? Да не го слагаш в плодова салата. <съща> Абе, ей, я не ми са прай на много умен. Идвай да мелиш тука домати за сос. Пък още и животно да са. Greetings comrades, today we are preparing meatballs with tomato sauce or how kids call them meatballs with red sauce or how the state calls them socialist sauce meatballs. This is a classic dish that Babushka used to prepare back in the day most of the time combined with some nice fried potatoes. By the way our fried potatoes are quite different than the deep fried one. I'll show you a picture if I can find one and I'll prepare them sometime in the future for you. The carb source for today will be quite different though, so feel free to stick for the bonus round to see it. So, this dish may sound a little bit Italian to you, but I assure you it is quite different. The main difference comes when, when you start choosing the herbs. And yeah, it is quite rich in herbs actually. A typical babushka will prepare this in a huge pot, where she will prepare the sauce first. After that she will put in the meatballs, which are first uh, wrote in some flour and she will just boil the meatballs in the tomato sauce. My way will be a little bit different but we'll still stick to the traditional way as much as possible. And don't worry, Babushka gave me her permission to experiment quite a bit with the recipe. Instead of boiling our meatballs in the sauce, first we'll prepare the sauce, after that we'll add this in a nice baking dish and arrange our meatballs in it and we'll bake everything in the oven. This will thicken our sauce and will help with achieving a nice depth in the flavors. So if I already have your curiosity, let's go and prepare the recipe by starting with the Slav shopping list. We need an orange stick of that, a green stick of that, some huge cry apples, you need some grated animals uh, basically, this is a homemade minced meat made from pork and beef, you need one egg, you need a kilogram of tomatoes. I will use directly from jars or canned tomatoes. Uh, they tend to work better in this recipe. A little bit of dehydrated crushed bread for making the meatballs and a lot of aromatics like pepper, garlic powder, summer savory, celery seeds, salt, bay leaf, some allspice, which I forgot to shoot. And of course, some sunflower oil. After that, you enter the secret code for the Slavic sequence for making meatballs with tomato sauce. Initiate vegetable cutting procedures. Decapitate orange roots, skin them with the cucumber peeler. Take vengeance upon cry apples, as always be careful with them. Multiply your green stick of that with the knife. After that, express your art of cubism by starting to cube all the vegetables. Demonstrate your mediocre cutting skills in front of the camera by almost cutting your nails away. I strive to make everything into small sized cubes as we'll be using the veggies for sauce. You can cut them with a food processor or grate them if you want a more smooth sauce. I like mine with some veggie pieces in it, but at the same time not too huge. Cut the onion with this interesting method we will need it for the meatballs. But first we start with the sauce. Heat some sunflower oil in a nice deep pan. Add samples to know when the oil is ready. After heated, add in vegetables and give them a nice stir. We want them all coated with oil. Meanwhile, dice your other onion. Now we start with making the meatball mixture. Here I have some homemade minced meat, as I said, 60 to 40% ratio pork to beef. I add in my onion, one egg, a generous amount of summer savory directly from the jar. It goes directly to the sole. Add in some tasty things, pepper, salt, garlic powder. You can use whatever amounts you enjoy and you can skip some of these if you, if you don't like them. After that, throw in some breadcrumbs. They'll help keeping our meatballs together and we'll make them nice and soft. 
get back to the stove where our veggies should be softer now. Adding some aromatics in them too, the bay leaf and the allspice. Also add some salt, pepper and garlic powder. Stir a little bit and it's time to pour our tomatoes into the party. As I said, it's a party so the volcano starts. I would say a volcano joke here, but I just cracked my toe. <laughs> uh, give everything a nice mix or the temperature of the stove and leave it to simmer. Time to finish up our meatballs. Of course, I'll be using my hand for that. Mix everything until homogeneous meat dough is formed. Make sure the egg is well incorporated. After that, get a plate and a bowl of water. The water will help with forming the meatballs. I make every meatball around 60 grams so they all cook evenly and for a nice portion control. After every meatball, wet your hand and throw until a nice bowl is formed. Meanwhile, our sauce is almost ready. See, it should bubble like that. Also, the sauce should have started to thicken up a little bit. Taste it and fix the seasoning. A little bit more salt, a sprinkle of sugar to kill the tomato acidity, give it a nice mix and add in a generous amount of dried celery leaves. Mix it well again and it should be ready. After that, transfer the sauce to a nice baking dish. I use this glass dish, it works perfectly for this recipe. Arrange your meatballs nicely. I was afraid at one point of time that they won't fit. What a nightmare! What I understood is that this amount of meatballs needs at least double the amount of sauce, but still it turned out quite nice. See these beauties, I really enjoyed them. Put them in the oven, the baking will bring another level of flavor to our sauce. Bake until the meat is well cooked. After 30 or 35 minutes in the oven, the meatballs are done. See this brown color on the top is the desired outcome. Now let's see what we have as a bonus round today. Bonus slabness. For the bonus round, I'll show you my lazy go-to weeknight bread. Yes, I'm still a noob in those, so I'll be using this capitalistic machinery. It works wonders, trust me. It comes with a nice book with instructions. So, by the book, we'll make village bread. 270 ml of water, 10 ml of oil, a spoon of salt, a spoon of sugar, some dry milk, 460 grams of flour, 10 grams of dry yeast, and that's it. You can mix, make the same mixture and just do it by hand without using the machine. And that's it, it's quite easy. Now we leave the machine to do its work for around 3 hours. This will make a huge bread with a thin crust. After 3 hours we reward it with this soft baby. Perfectly baked with the consistency of cotton, perfect addition to our meatballs and the sauce. Soft difficulty level. I would say 4 out of 5 as there are a lot of elements. Preparing a sauce, preparing meatballs, using both the stove and the oven, a ton of products used and if you go with preparing the bread it takes some time. But it's totally worth it, just follow the steps and you'll be fine. It is more time consuming than hard to be honest. Here are our meatballs, nicely baked, the sauce is thick and rich and the meatballs are cooked to perfection. Let's serve them, 3 meatballs, a generous amount of sauce, topped with some chives or summer onions. You can go with fresh parsley also, just sprinkle it on the top for ni some nice green color. Add a nice slice of our bread and we are ready. Energy, for the portion you see plus the bread you have 570 calories, 42 carbs, 40 protein and 24 fats. Typically Babushka used to prepare this in a pot on the stove, but I added something from me. Of course, I asked her before that and she approved. I hope you like this Slavic foodness and love you next time. Now enjoy some aerial view of the Slav city.